hello friends in this video we are going to be looking at how we can use solid color adjustment layer for color grading in adobe photoshop this is twisted creative valerie bimana is my name if it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video without wasting much time let's get into it this is the image we are going to be using and if you take a look at this image let's punch in if we add a little touch to this color it's going to be superb it's going to be finer than what we are seeing now okay let's go to the adjustment layer let's click on this adjustment layer icon here to choose solid color adjustment layer then we have nothing here on the image so we have to choose a particular color this time around we are not going to be choosing color now because you can still play with the color anytime so let's just click on this red and hit ok then we are going to the blend mode to change to multiply if you take a look at this image you notice that we no longer have highlights on this image no matter what you do to this stuff now it's not going to look professional let's see we are going to if you reduce 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 the highlight is still going to be reduced the highlight is still going to be reduced or eaten by these colors we have to place it on 100% back opacity we have to separate the highlights from these colors so how do we go about that we have to double click or you can right click and choose blending options you can open the blending options here so if you take a look at this underlying layer here we have black slider and we have white slider so you have to push the white slider which is for the highlight you have to bring it back to separate it from the shadows and mint tones so if you take a look at this it like it's okay now then we're going to hold our alt to break this angle apart we have two angles here we have to break it apart like this then we can drag this to the ending we can drag it to the ending we can leave it here for smoother transition to make the transition smooth okay then we can hit okay then if you take a look at this image now we have this color on it while the highlight is still there so that is the essence so, and that is the trick there we have to go again and add on that color to this stuff let's click on the adjustment layer icon again and choose solid color for the second time then we are going to choose any other color let's just go between this blue and this blue and aqua which is going to be teal let's say okay let's just choose from here like this and let's hit okay for it and go to blend mode and choose hard light so look at what we had here so if you take a look at this stuff now you notice that this color has taken over even the first color we can double click here to bring out the blending options then we can see do the same thing then this is the black slider and this is the white slider of the underlying layer then we can bring it down to separate the highlights also to separate the highlights you notice that okay we have to hold down our alt here then click on this angle to split it then we can see take it to the ending so taking a look at this image now you notice that we have something different entirely let's hit okay we'll select these two adjustment layer select this first one then hold our control or shift then select this other one then use our control g to place them in a group then let's let's switch it off and on and see how it's going to look this is this is before and this is after isn't that amazing already so we have to open this box select each of them then go to the opacity and take it to wherever is going to suit our liking then let's drop this first one this um, reddish one to be let's say at least 30 percent should be okay then let's go to the other one and take it to 30 percent also 30 percent then look at what we have here isn't that amazing already then in this group we have to this group we have to see select the group and bring the opacity down also so if you take a look at this now let's say 50 percent should be okay for this let's take a look at what we have here this is the image this image has been transformed so okay let's see the before and after let's just hit say the before and after this is the before and this is the after so this is it's a subtle it's a subtle change it's a very slight change if you take a look at this image now you notice that 
it's not just it's not just change of color but we have depths created let's see let's hold our out and see you see depth take a look at the hair this is before and this is after and the hair is a kind of well defined if you feel or think the color is not good enough for you you can click on this box double click on this box to bring out this color picker so you can move this slider up and down to change from one color grade to another so let's let's take from here let's take it up let's take it up as you can see it's changing it's switching so let's just imagine let's just imagine we have it here okay let's say this is the red part then we have it at we have it at let's pick orange orange should be okay let's pick orange then we we'll hit okay then we'll go to this other guy i think this color is not bad we can see switch from one color to another so from here you'll be able to choose your color let's assume we remain here let's hit ok and secondly there is something i still wanted to know is that you can move this stuff for change of colors as in change of intensity of the color if you want to change the intensity of the color you can move from this spot to this spot i believe this is a very nice way you can color grade your stuff let's see the before and after just say it okay let's see the before and after hold your alt and do this before and this is after this is before and this is after so the image is looking alike let's change it to something else let's go to this orange and choose something else let's move it to i think green purple okay let's leave it as purple and see how it's going to look let's see it okay let's see this is before and this is after this is before this is after this is before this is after if you want to add something else to this stuff you can just go to this empty layer click on empty layer to create an empty layer here so we have to take this thing up here then we have to this is empty layer then we'll go to our fill then we'll make sure we'll check our color make sure it's black and hit ok then we are going to use this paint cup to pour the black on this image so we have that black layer so we'll go to this uh, elliptical market tool then we we'll see to drag from this edge to somewhere like this it's from somewhere like this then we we'll position it in the middle then you right click and feather with 300 dollar then you push delete once or twice then use your control d to deselect then we we'll have something like this then you can go to your then you can go to your opacity and reduce your opacity to however you want it let's say like 30 percent thereabout is okay then let's still go ahead let's still push it more push it more let's say 50 percent should be okay 50 percent 50 percent is okay so this is what we have here for this image let's see the before and after let's hold our alt and this is before and this is after this is before and this is after isn't that amazing now we can try this stuff on another image let's pick this group this particular group which let's close this group you know that if we open this group now we have this just those two colors here then let's drag this group we can close the group let's drag this group and go to this image and drop it here look at what we have look at what we had here let's see the before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after you can see what we have is beautiful isn't that okay what if we decide if we decide to change this color let's make this image a little bit a kind of orangish as in let's add orange color let's change this spot to orange color double click here and bring out the color picker then you can drag this down to orange in between the red and the yellow so have the orange color here then you can hit ok for this here is another tip like as you, as you are looking at this image it's like it's looking lighter 
it's looking lighter so for us to make this image to look rich we can see we can decide to duplicate this stuff to any amount we want like okay let's go to this till i think this one is still okay let's still leave this guy here let's increase the color a bit then hit okay then we can take this orange color use our control j to duplicate it once you see the effect then use our control j again twice use our control j again three times then use our control j again fourth time okay if you take a look at this image now <laughs> it's amazing already looking amazing i like what is happening to this image look at look at this image look at what is happening to this image it's looking very very good okay let's go again let's add one control j to it and it's going to be darker and darker and darker well let's hold our alt and click on this eye icon to see the before and after so this is before this is after this is before this is after so you can also change any of this color any of this color click on any of them and add any other color you feel is going to be good for your image let's say if we add purple now or add something like uh, you see you have multiple colors on this image like if you add orange you see notice that we're having more orange let's if you add teal again it's going to be bluish and if you add this purple then red in between red and pink there are so many colors you can think of there are so many colors you can get from here make it greenish if you want even yellowish so if you take it this way i think a little green should be fine then hit okay then if you, you just take a look at this image take a look take a look isn't it beautiful let's see the before and after again let's hold our alt and see before after before and after so depending on your liking depending on what you like for your image color grading is not a specific kind of color so you can do just kind to play with your colors and see what suits your needs and maybe if people like it they will continue using it so that is it with the color grading with solid color adjustment layer in adobe photoshop if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on if you are battling on how to retouch your image very well before color grading, watch this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.